In the Tyrrhenian Sea lies a massive submarine volcano, the Marsili. What if it erupted? Could it cause a disastrous tsunami? This is the only existing video that reconstructs the worst case scenario of a potential future eruption of this submerged giant. A video that explains how a tsunami could be triggered, how big the waves would be and which Italian coasts would be affected. Let's initiate the eruption countdown. The summit of the Marsili lies several hundred meters below the surface, so we would need a specialized submarine to explore it. We have it! Ready for the dive? Our destination is the crest of Marsili. Ciao ragazzi, this video was written and filmed in Italian by our team of scientists, storytellers and video makers, manually translated into English, but, but, dubbed with artificial intelligence. Long live culture and let's go back to the video. It's fascinating to think that just a century ago, the Marsili's existence was unknown. And even today, we still know very little about it. Studies started in the early 2000s, but from a scientific point of view, there are still many unanswered questions. We should be arriving soon. Oh, oh, here it is. It's massive. Guys, the Marsili is gigantic, about 70 km long and 30 km wide. Its peak is at a depth of 500 meters. But be aware, the Marsili itself is not 500 meters high. Its base sits at 3,500 meters below sea level. which means that this beast stands three kilometers tall. Let's compare it with Mount Vesuvius. Now you can grasp how massive Marsili actually is. As you can see, it doesn't resemble a typical volcano lacking the classic cone shape, but rather it is elongated. Why is that? Because it actually consists of a series of aligned eruptive cones and a series of eruptive fractures. Okay, here we are, here we are. The eruption would likely begin with an uptick in seismic activity. It would also be paired with a more intense fumarolic activity. And then... An explosion would occur on the eastern side from a new eruptive vent at a depth of about 850 meters. A mix of gases with ash and volcanic material would form what is known as an eruptive column. However, it wouldn't be able to reach the surface as the 850 meters of seawater column above would act as a lid, dispersing the energy and preventing its rise. The Italian Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology has confirmed that the only visible surface sign would be the formation of bubbles caused by the degassing and the ascent of volcanic material. We are talking about pumice stones, for example, which would remain floating for a few weeks. So, no dramatic Hollywood-style eruption is expected. That's it, you'll say? What about the tsunami you showed us at the opening of the video that ended up happening? A tsunami could indeed happen, but not a direct result of the volcanic explosion as many would imagine, but as a consequence of another potential phenomenon. Let's rewind. What we are going to show you is truly the most catastrophic scenario, luckily less probable, and is based on a scientific article published in 2020 on the international scientific journal Bulletin of Volcanology. Let's go! In this scenario, the eruption along with the seismic activity caused by the increase of volcanic material would initiate this. A submarine landslide which is far more alarming than the eruption itself. It is exactly this kind of lateral collapse that has the potential to potentially trigger a tsunami. So the eruption could result in a landslide that has the potential to cause a tsunami. In this extreme scenario, a massive landslide of 17 cubic kilometers of rock could be set in motion. Is how little 
or how much is it? Imagine the equivalent of 6,100 Olympic swimming pools filled with rock. The descent of this enormous mass would cause the water to displace and move upward toward the surface, generating a series of rogue waves, a tsunami. So the real danger associated with the Marsili is not so much the eruption itself, but the potential landslide that could be generated with the eruption. Now question, which shores would the potential tsunami hit and how tall would the waves be? According to scientists, the wave train could hit the coasts of Campania, Basilicata and Calabria within about 20 or 30 minutes of the event. In the worst case scenario, Campania and Basilicata could face waves of at least 5 meters, peaking at 20 meters in Basilicata and 15 meters in southern Campania and parts of northern Calabria. The rogue waves could also reach Sicily and Sardinia. Sicily could be hit by waves from 5 to 10 meters tall. The Aeolian Islands would also be affected, but they would actually act as a barrier, reducing the impact of the tsunami on the Sicilian coast. At the same time, the waves in Sardinia would be a bit smaller, and its eastern coast would be faced with tsunami about 2 to 4 meters tall. As we mentioned, and this is crucial, their predictions apply to the worst case scenario, which is also the least likely. Why? Because it's based on hypothesis. The study in question, which we have linked in the description and comments, proposes other more likely scenarios with less extensive landslides and, consequently, more contained tsunamis. Indeed, in most projections, the waves would be negligible, measuring just a few centimeters. In summary, when we talk about the Marsili volcano, the most reasonable and scientific considerations to keep in mind are these. First consideration, an eruption alone is unlikely to cause a tsunami, as the water column measuring between 500 and 1000 meters high would dampen the in-depth energy release. Second consideration, at the surface we'd mostly witness degassing, so bubbles and pumice rock, but nothing more violent. Third consideration, a tsunami could be triggered primarily by one or more submarine landslides triggered, in turn, by the eruption and seismic activity. Fourth consideration. In case of a tsunami, the spectrum of scenarios as reported in scientific literature varies with only one, the least likely, being a cause for genuine concern. In all the other scenarios, the risk for a tsunami would be very low or even negligible. That being said, as stated by the president of NGV Carlo Doioni, the Marsili is not currently monitored. We still have very little information on this submarine giant. We can only hope that future research can bring new insights to enrich our current understanding of the volcano. Dear all, I'm extremely grateful for the team involved in this project, which, as you can imagine, has been very long and challenging. So I thank Christian David for the splendid 3D animations. Thanks to our author Frida Bonatti for helping me draft this script. Thanks to Gabriele Lauria who is behind the camera and took care of all the editing. And thanks to Marco Iodice for the sound design. And of course, thank to you. The most important thank you goes to you for having supported us until the end. I'll see you in the next video, always here on Geopop, science in everyday life. Ciao!